Greetings, artists. Uh, I'm going to do a quick demo of making art with bleeding tissue paper. And I don't know what's going on with my camera. Got a focus issue. Let me leave this on here. Maybe that'll work. All right. Um, the type of paper I'm using is watercolor paper. And I'm using the side that has the rougher edge. Um, the next item you're going to need is two colors of bleeding tissue paper. That if you buy a whole pack of it, uh, you're not going to need the whole pack. You're going to need a portion of two colors. I'm choosing pink and blue. You can pick your two favorite colors that contrast. This works with complementary colors or analogous colors. If you're unsure of what those mean, look them up. Um, I'm going to warn you, this type of art can stain your fingers. So I want to tear up pieces of this paper about the size of a quarter, not too much smaller. And I've got some water. I'm going to dip it into the water using tweezers. Um, and notice in the water right now, there's that blue that's in there. That's because the dye is running out of the paper. So I want to place it on here. Uh, now, I don't want to cover the entire piece for this project. We will do one in the future where you do that, but we want to place the colors around. You can overlap, but we want to leave some of the white in the background. So that negative space of the paper, we want it to be visible throughout the design. So let me quickly arrange. I'm going to do my blues and then or my purples and then my pinks. You'll notice once you get it wet, it kind of gets floppy. And that's OK, because that will make an interesting design. Um, you may want to have something else handy if you're afraid of getting a purple finger. Help out. Let's see. Got a piece of pink ready to go. All right, I'm wetting the paper. I'm finding a spot that I want it. Oops. Placing it down. Now you can organize this and make an image if you wanted to. This assignment, I'm trying to do an abstract piece of artwork. So I'm going to control it a little bit with placement, but the final piece is really going to be left up to chance and how and what happens when it's drying. So let me really like odd shapes like this. I like what happens when they get wet. And I also want to make sure that I'm getting over to the edges too. Some of my design will be on the page, some might be off the page. And as I mentioned, the bleeding tissue paper has the ability to stain your fingers, which means it could probably stain your clothes too. So please be careful if you do attempt this assignment. This would actually be really fun to do with your parents. If they've never used this type of medium, they might get pretty excited about it. Adults like to be creative too. This would be a fun activity to do with an adult or an older sibling, or heck, even if, uh, if you've got a, a pretty responsible younger sibling that can listen to you give them instructions, they might enjoy doing this too. All right. What's going to happen next is the paper's gonna start to dry. And as the paper starts to dry, the pigment will be, some of the pigment will be left on the white paper. And this could take a couple of hours. I tend to leave this overnight somewhere that it's not going to get messed with, away from cats and dogs and uh, definitely away from a fan. <laughs> because these little pieces of paper might blow away. If you come back the next day, the tissue paper will be lifted off of the surface and you can go ahead and put it in the trash or I know, so oh, that's a big drop. 
I know an artist who likes to save the older pieces or the pieces that are used and then try to reuse them again. Um, if you wet them again, you're gonna get less pigment or less color. But if you are trying to be sustainable, you wanna see what you can make, you can always hold on to the, the newly dried pieces of bleeding tissue paper. All right, now my design does go side to side, corner to corner. I've got most of my plane. I might add a small piece over there. I wanna have a visual array that takes up the entire paper as opposed to just one corner. Um, aside from covering it with pigment, I don't really know what the end of this project is gonna look like just yet. I just know that I need to have a few shapes and I need to have two different colors. What this project turns into will be partially chance and partially the next step that we will do. But this is how we get our bleeding tissue paper down. And I'll do a quick cut after it dries and we'll come back. Thanks for watching.